Hello everyone, welcome back. My name is Kimichi and I am here to show you guys the new updates on the Fuji Tech. Also, I wanted to take some time to say thank you guys so much for the support from the last video. I'm glad that it's helped out a lot of VTubers and everyone else on Twitch, YouTube, Facebook, wherever you stream. I'm glad it's been really helpful. If you have not yet, please subscribe to my channel. That way you can be updated on any new stuff. I stream on Twitch like three times a week. I'm trying to get more and more uh, consistent with it and everything. So thank you so much for the support. And without further ado, let's get to the video. All right, so this is the Fuji Tech website. You want to copy this into your URL and then click on login. It has had a new update, so I wanted to make this video to make it as easy as possible. You're going to want to authorize. Make sure it is your main Discord account. And then it'll take you to this page. So over on the left hand side, I have four of the things check marked for the configuration. I have the bounce effect, which will make the image bounce up and down. When people are talking, the dim own inactive image is yours, though I have mine dim when I'm not talking, or I can just keep it the same color by um, not having it dim, which might be helpful if you have to use like a color correction in the background like this. And then there's a the crossfade effect. I'm not quite sure what that is, but I have a check mark. Probably makes it more smooth as it's speaking and not speaking. And then dim other inactive image. This is your... It's up to you how you want to do that. If you want to dim their images, you can. Or you don't have to, it's up to you. I personally like using the individual browser source down here instead of the big group browser source. I like being able to place people where I want them to. So I don't worry too much about the image spacing. That's just like the spacing in between the images if you do a big group browser source. Mine's always at zero. So I'll hit apply to apply those settings. Over on the right hand side, you had your set inactive image. This is going to be the image when you're not speaking. When you put your picture in there, make sure it's the not speaking image. And the one next to it is a set image speaking. So you'll go to your choose and file, choose file, and you'll put your image there, hit save. Same for the other one, save. And you have those set up, hit apply again if you want to. And then you'll join into a Discord call. Everyone in that Discord call will show up here. So like Kimichi is here, say if someone else was in Discord, they'd show up here too. What I do is I'd copy to my clipboard, the browser source, I go to OBS, Streamlabs, whatever program you use, and I'd input that. So this might get a little weird because I'm gonna open up my uh, source here and show you guys. Hold on. There we go. I know it's really funky. <laughs> so down here, you use your browser source. Huh? And mine, I use the Kimi PNG, I'll open my properties. So that's what this looks like here. When I speak, she'll bounce up and down. And then she'll also fade. So I'll copy that URL right here, hit paste, put it in, boom, okay. And she's activated. I'm gonna move this back up. There we go. And then we can test it out and see how it works. So I'm gonna want to open her up here. And there she is. So as I speak, she'll light up. She jumps up and down at first. And when I don't speak, she fades out. So that's up to you how you want to do your options. Um, I had to mess around a little bit with her, so it's not perfect, but that's what I have for that. And you can use any image you want to, and you can move her around if it's individual. She's not set. You can make them small or big by you, however you want it. But that's how you set those, and that's pretty much it for the updates here. If you guys have any questions, leave a comment below and I'll try to answer them or someone else can give you guys some help too. I've had to help out a few people, so I will leave the comments open, that way everyone can see and get all the advice and everything. But thank you guys so much for watching the video, I hope it helped, I hope you guys understand it a bit more, and have fun streaming! Bye!